Morning. Welcome to Arise to the Greatness Morning Show. I'm your host, Ainsworth Edmond. The Rise to Greatness Show is all about giving you an inspiration, motivational <clears throat> uh, word to start your day. Right? Um, if you are seeing this on Facebook, um, please like, share this video. If you are seeing it on YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel because not only do I do motivational uh, <clears throat> videos, but I also have business where you can earn money online that is something that i do otherwise so you can also subscribe so you get information on about that also so i rise to greatness what is it it's all about you know as i said motivating inspiring you to become the best version of yourself i believe that you know becoming the best version of yourself is simply mastering the, the basics the basics of life and i realized that um the basics to success are not uh, a lot there are few principles that you need to 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 master to to to, to achieve greatness or achieve success in your life and I spoke about courage a couple of days ago and fear is the the opposite of um, courage it is said that courage is not up, the, the, the opposite, the, courage is not the absence of fear, right? So I realize that it is two ways. You either have courage or you have fear. But some of the things that we fear, if we step into them, then we'll be able to achieve and do so much more with our life. You know, we are fear, afraid of so much, right? Of, of so much... Um, in terms of what we believe the implications are, the results of, of taking certain actions will cause, right? And I'm saying to you, if we start stepping into our fears, then things, the things that we fear will disappear. If you start to step into your fear, the things that you fear will start disappear. I'm not talking about being in a real fear, such as, fear of walking in the road and a car hit you i'm not talking in fear of um like a cobra or, or a snake biting you those are real fears right we're talking about the fear of and um, for instance some persons have and i'm not saying that the fear is not real all right because somebody says fear is false evidence appearing real now, there are persons who are very afraid of a certain number, right? So they are afraid of the number three because it relates to debt. But what if you now step into that fear that everywhere, you know, you see three, you know, you, 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 you step into it, you realize that it has no power over you. It's only something in your mind. Same way as the, the fear of um, a failure right what will it really cause if you fear if you feel in most of what you're doing it's only the opinions of persons that will that persons will say look at you but you did not realize that as a by trying by stepping out there you have now learned something you are now one step better than the person who is than most persons who are going to to look at you as a feeler because they did not try so that's why I'm talking about stepping into your fear. Because by you taking action, you are moving from point A to point B. It is in that stepping out that you will start seeing things that you have never seen while you are sitting in are sitting down in fear. There are many persons who are afraid of public speaking. They are afraid of um, going out there and, and putting themselves out. I'm saying to you, if you are afraid of that, step into that fear. Start talking to do, do, do. If you can't even do a video like this, that is a life that you, you're fear of making mistakes. I, I realize that the, the, each day I, there will be mistakes that I will make. I will still stutter. But each day I'm getting better. I'm stepping into that fear because at the end of the day, my goal is to speak to thousands of persons in arenas. I, I can't forget um, a speech done by 
the by Les Brown in the Georgia Dome, 80,000 persons. You know, people are like, son, 80,000 persons. And this one man was speaking to, and that is something that I would love to do in my life. But I cannot, if, I, if I'm fearful of just speaking to a screen or thinking that, oh, the persons are going to say that he stutters, he doesn't sound as if he knows what he's, he's, he's about, then I will never reach that place. So the goal that I'm saying to you, step into your fear. Start doing the things that scares you. As long as it's not something that will cause your physical harm and, you know, will not, you know, threaten the life of others, step into that fear. Do the things that you, that you are scared of and you will see them start dissipating. You will see, you know, changes start happening and you will start to find the ways and things will start to show up and assistance will start to come to, to, to take steps in moving towards the way are the things that you want to, 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 to move towards. One of the other things that I want to leave you with today because um, is don't ever believe that you are not good enough. And I believe that this is one of the reasons why a lot of persons are afraid to to make um, the choices that needs to be made. They are afraid that they are, are not good enough. That, you know, I am not good enough to, to, to win this race, so I am not going to try. I'm saying, by trying, you are learning. I was saying that I can never lose again in my life. I either win or learn. I either win or learn. And the same things that I'm saying to you. If you, if you take every challenge that you will face, that you will never lose, you either win or learn. So while you're in it, it is how I am, you know, course correcting. So I'm always learning. I'm always finding new ways to get better. What persons will call failure, I call a learning experience. And the person who wins is the person who has the most learning experience. Now, fear is so crippling. That I, I hear a story and I'm going to share it. It said this man was sentenced to death. And the day before his execution, he, the, the general asked him that tomorrow you're going to be executed by the firing squad. But you have two options. One, in the morning, you, the, you will face the firing line. Or two... You will walk through that door and, and leave. And the man asks the general, what is behind that door? And the general said, untold terrors. In the morning, the man woke up and decided to be executed by the firing squad. After he was killed, one of the other soldiers asked the general, what is behind the door? And the general said, freedom. But the truth about it, a lot of us are, are, are in our life right now that is almost like a death sentence. And we are, we are living through that death sentence. But to take the step into freedom, which is unknown terrors, we do not, every time you go out there trying to do something, things will happen. Unknown terrors. But that's the way to freedom. Choose to go after your dreams. Step into that fear. You might not know what is going to happen to you. You do not know all the, the ups and downs that will come in the journey of going after your goals. But I want to tell you that it is worth it. It is worth it to go after those dreams. It is worth it to not be afraid or to accept the known devil, the known hell, instead of the unknown heavens. So thank you for coming on. And before I leave, you know, Cedric White, you know, almost every day he has been sharing my videos and I really want to tell you, brother, 
thank you you know for the support for everyone that has been sharing liking commenting on my videos i am grateful you know because that is what i do not do it for those things but yes everybody loves a little appreciation um, while you're on the journey and I do appreciate everyone that comes on in the mornings and share like comment I, I appreciate you guys because it's just the beginning and I hope and I do hope that each day one of these words something that I said will be something that will be inspiring will be motivating that will help you move towards a greater and better place in your life. Have a great day.